like you ever felt. Are you listening? Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here from Arizona and I'm coming at you from the greenhouse. Just want to show you I've added some giant hygro to this uh, bin right here. I did some up on top as well. And this stuff is just acclimating to the water. I just got the shipment in yesterday. I've added some extra stuff in here too. Like, like I had a piece of uh, wisteria that was covered in algae from that other system that has a lot of algae. And I put it in there. I figured... You know, the goldfish can, uh, can use that as cover and uh, also eat the algae, which they have. This thing was completely engulfed in algae. But I want to actually point out, too, as the temperature keeps rising in the greenhouse, now that the weather's getting warm in Arizona, these plants are just going completely out of control. Uh, looks like I might need, I, I've never actually dosed this, to be honest with you, but I might need to dose this. It looks like the, uh, the deep red liquigia it's starting to change color a little bit, so it's possible that there's not enough iron because of the amount of plants that are in this uh, this bin. Uh, which I might add, though, that this thing was completely sold out up until the other day, until I restocked it. Um, it I mean, obviously these weren't. These, these I just kind of keep there just because it's uh, good filtration. And I also use, I use these as clippings and regrow them now. So... But all the stuff beneath the surface is all brand new stuff. So this was, I would say, three quarters of the way sold out. At, and uh, so I'm probably going to have to either do some root tabs or, or something in there just to, uh, just to get some iron back in the water or something. My, uh, my filter here is doing really well. I have more... Money Wart and Bacopa that anybody can possibly ever need. And again, I sell the clippings off of this as well, which shows you how fast this stuff actually grows. And I do want to say that um, this is uh, Liquigia repens right there. That actually <laughs> it grows just as good as as the, uh, the Bacopa does. So if I ever make a future one, which I think I will, I think I'm actually going to make... Um, another one of these for this stock tank and I may I may do uh, the Liquigia repens just because just to get a variety I mean I already have Bacopa growing out of my ears I might as well have Liquigia repens do the same another thing I have a lot of and this stuff grows like crazy and I showed it to you earlier in another form was I showed you this this is, like I said, giant hygro, but this is giant hygro in its uh, submerged form after you've had it a while. Let me. It looks like this. This is actually a really awesome plant. Grows really tall. Uh, completely safe with goldfish, by the way, because obviously I keep goldfish in a lot of these bins. There's a handful of goldfish in here, and they don't touch it. And if they do, it grows back so quickly that it's not noticeably damaged or anything like that. So as you can see, there's some of the goldfish swimming by. They think they're being fed. I will feed them a uh, uh, little bit later. This bin right here, getting less and less algae. The goldfish are doing their jobs. I actually dropped 25 mystery snails in here as well as uh, about a half a dozen fiddler crabs, which I can't even find those crabs. Uh, I saw one the other day hanging above the water because they do they do need oxygen and I, you know what I actually need to make a, like an island in here because it turns out they don't really swim they just kind of climb up things and they could actually climb up the 300 gallon stock tank which is impressive because I got kind of worried uh, after putting them in here that they weren't going to be able to make their way up to the top to the surface to get oxygen and just hang out but they do so I thought that was awesome. I was hoping to catch it some, but there are none to be found. Let me see if I can find any. Sometimes they, sometimes what they do is they, I have that pot down there and they end up burying themselves in the dirt. So I've, I've seen them do that. Uh, I have more giant hygro there. This is uh, Liquigia repens. Look, it's starting to actually, um, I don't know if you could pick that up on the camera, but it's actually starting to grow out of the water. It's only been in there a couple days. 
and then uh, I have Wisteria here, which I know will do fine. Uh, Greg, uh, Greg Jones actually mentioned to me to add a standpipe here, so nothing gets sucked down. But I think I, I'm going to do that eventually. I'm just not. I'm not going to do that right now, just because with the lead, the leaded uh, weights at the bottom, they kind of hold their position. The water flow in these things are not really as high as they. I, I mean, they are high, but they're not as high as they appear. They're not blowing everything around. Yeah, there's another piece of uh, the copa that has some algae on it, but you can see there's nice new pieces growing on top. So that stuff, you can never really count it out. Even if it looks dead and covered in algae and stuff, whatever, take the algae off, rip leaves off with it, and just float it. The stems will grow back. So I think, my, like I said, my next project will probably be another filter but I'm not gonna have it in the water like that so much I'm probably gonna sit it off of this corner right here and uh, have it overflow into this tank here from a, a submersible pump and I kinda like that idea because again this is this is gonna be a nice tank here where I can grow out a lot of goldfish and I'm probably gonna put marginals in here as well so marginal plants are my, might be my next venture into this and I think uh, that would probably be good because this is a, a nice big space with a lot of surface area and a lot of marginal plants need a lot of surface area to grow. That's where a lot of aquarium plants grow upwards. Get some goldfish down there. The marginal plants do grow a lot bigger. Some of them will grow, you know, more dense than a lot of the aquarium plants, especially stem plants that just grow up. I, oh yeah, that's right. I also wanted to say that you guys have been amazing. Uh, lots of support. I see my channel growing on a regular basis, which is nice. I wish I can get it to grow even more because honestly, I really would like to have a lot more subscribers. I've been doing this for quite some time, but I am thankful for what I have and I am happy that it's getting there. I mean, I'm just going to be plugging away little by little, making more and more videos. And I think it's almost time for um, a contest or a giveaway. Once I'm almost at a, I'm almost at 400 subscribers. Once I reach my 400 subscribers, I will be doing a contest or a giveaway. So I did want to announce that. So you guys have a great day. Please comment, please like, and please subscribe if you have not done so already. I will talk to you soon.